Hello everyone, back again with Film Recaps. The story opens at Denning, a major pharmaceutical company, which is known for creating a new drug in the market that will be used to treat major health issues. However, several allegations have been made against the pharmaceutical company that the new drug has potentially fatal side effects, like elevated heart attack and stroke. A prestigious law firm known as RBE has been set to investigate the case involving Denning Pharmaceuticals. Unfortunately, when a lack of action against the company is perceived, a whistleblower at Denning sets out to kill some of RBE's employees, believing them to be incompetent against Denning. He confidently enters RBE office and kills several executives in broad daylight. The news about the murder immediately hits the airwaves, and cops arrive at RBE to arrest him, but the whistleblower leaves the building and commits suicide. After the incident, a new character is introduced in the film, Tom, who works as a paralegal at RBE. He was assigned to the Denning case, but lost his confidence in the scheduled trial against Denning, since their star witness committed suicide just before the investigation was set to begin. Desperate to hold on to a case, Tom decides to leave an investigative memo for another case, one that involves the criminal activities of the Gambizzi family. Tom is usually late for his work, so he sneaks into the office while staying away from his superior, Emmerich. However, he still finds an email from Emmerich, mentioning that his late arrivals have been observed. Emmerich shows up suddenly and assigns him some tasks for the day. When Tom tries to discuss some innovations in Denning case, Emmerich declines to follow and shows less concern about the drug victims of the case. Tom then receives a call from his boss, inviting him for a meeting regarding his memo of the Gambizzi case. When Tom meets his boss, he criticizes his idealism as financially unsound and denies his request to join the case, citing his idealistic nature and the risk of witness data leakage. Tom loses his confidence against the cases and continues with his daily tasks. When he notices that all Xerox machines are occupied, he goes to the record room to do some photocopies of paperwork. Tom's girlfriend, Anna, also shows up in the record room and accompanies him in his work. It is revealed that they have been in a relationship for months and secretly dating. She supports his idealism for the cases and tries to encourage him against his boss's rude behavior. Tom somehow believes that he might get fired for what just happened, since no one is ready to support his innovations. Tom finishes his photocopying task and goes to his table. Emmerich joins everyone in the workspace and announces that all employees can leave early due to a technical problem with the firm's internet access and servers. Additionally, he criticizes Tom's idealism about the Gambizzi case and fires him on the spot, which is not so surprising for Tom. Tom leaves the office with his friend and co-worker, Roger, and they head towards the elevator. Roger suddenly realizes he left something behind and returns to the office. As Tom reaches the seventh floor, a mysterious guy enters the elevator and follows him down. When Tom and the guy enter the lobby, Tom becomes suspicious when he sees the guy setting down his briefcase on the floor, which is later picked up by someone else. When the second guy enters the elevator, Tom notices that he is going to the 34th floor, which is the office of the RBE law firm. Tom decides to follow him, but because he was fired earlier, he discovers that his access card isn't working. He then leaves his bag at the reception for the moment and asks the security guard to give him access to the elevator. After reaching the same floor, Tom begins his search for the mysterious guy and reaches the RBE office, where he notices Emmerich with a woman, who is a reporting witness to the Gambizzi case. Tom also comes across the office janitor and asks him about that mysterious guy, but he only gives him a weird look. He eventually reaches the workspace, where he notices Roger at his desk. Tom grabs his attention and asks him to let him in. He indirectly asks Roger about his late-night presence in the office, but is unsatisfied with Roger's responses. He then turns on video recording and secretly puts his cell phone near his desk in order to capture Roger's actions. He continues his search for the guy and finally finds him tinkering with the building's control systems. Tom is watching from a distance as another staff member catches the guy in the act. When she asks him about his identity, he disguises himself as the maintenance man. When she tries to confirm his presence from the authorities, he takes out a pistol from his briefcase and immediately kills her. 
He then takes care of the dead body, as Tom is watching in horror. Tom panics and hides from the killer in the bathroom, where he finds a dead security guard. The killer also enters the bathroom, forcing Tom to hide with the dead body. When Tom learns that the killer intends to take the keys from the dead body, he quickly moves to the adjacent restroom. The killer then takes the keys, a revolver, and a walkie-talkie from the security guard. The killer uses security guard's access card, and enters the record room, where he places a chemical explosive, which will be used to destroy all the files at the law firm. Tom meets Roger in the interim, and alerts him about the killer. They make an attempt to leave the office, only to discover that the elevator is locked. Tom and Roger return to the workspace to find a way out, as all access is closed by the killer, even the internet connection is lost. The killer also arrives at the workspace, forcing them to hide under the table. When the killer notices an active computer, he begins to suspect someone's presence in the office. As the killer leaves, Tom devises a strategy to call the cops and save Emmerich, but Roger objects to Tom's plan to save Emmerich, as Roger does not believe that Emmerich would do the same for them. Regardless, Tom instructs Roger to contact the authorities, as he tries to find Emmerich. Since they have only one access card, Tom uses his jacket to block the door from closing. Roger returns to his desk to call his wife, while Tom's cell phone is still on record. Unfortunately, before Roger can make the call for help, the killer finds him and intercepts his call. Roger tries to talk to his wife, but the killer forces him in a conversation, and instructs him to tell her you'll be home late. When the call ends, the killer uses a telephone wire, and strangles him to death, while completely unaware that a nearby cell phone is recording everything. Tom also enters the workspace, and retrieves his cell phone, only to discover that his cell phone is running out of battery. He puts his phone on charge, and leaves the desk. In the meantime, the killer finds Tom's jacket at the door, confirming to him that someone else is still present. Tom comes across Roger's dead body, and takes his access card. When the killer intervenes, Tom hides in fear of being the next target. As the killer is taking care of Roger's dead body, Tom's recharging cell phone rings, and the killer finally realizes that there are more people left in the building than he anticipated. Unfortunately, he finds the recorded evidence of the murder in Tom's cell phone, and deletes the video. He finally learns that the cell phone belongs to someone called Tom, and begins his search for him. He threatens Tom to give away his presence, or he will find him and kill him. While the killer is searching for him, Tom uses this time to turn on the fire alarm, but fails. After noticing an old guy in a nearby building, Tom burns the room, and tries to grab his attention. Tom asks him to call the cops, but unfortunately, the killer uses a fire extinguisher to kill the fire, and gives the impression that everything is fine. Tom runs to the reception, and begins to rewrite his access card. He also resets all locks of the building, trapping the killer inside. Tom then rushes to the main office, and meets Emmerich and that woman in the room. As soon as he informs them about the killer, he breaks into the office, and shoots the woman. The killer is unable to notice Tom, who is hiding behind the door. He threatens Emmerich to stay in the office, while Tom is still hiding. When the killer leaves, Emmerich reveals to Tom, that the woman was Gambitsi's wife. Tom surmises that the killer is a Gambitsi hitman sent to kill her, because she was going to testify against her husband. With her death, Tom hopes that the killer will leave. However, they discover that the killer is making a failed attempt to gain entry into the record room, because he is unable to break the reinforced bulletproof glass door. As Tom and Emmerich hide in the workspace, the killer finds them and threatens Tom to give him the access card, or he will kill the janitor. However, Tom doesn't fall in his trap, as he is aware that the janitor is already dead. After a while, Tom and Emmerich hear a cell phone ringing, and it turns out that the killer used Tom's phone to trap them. The killer shoots Emmerich on his arm, but they manage to escape using the access card. The killer follows them with a fire axe, but they successfully enter the record room, which Emmerich and Tom use as a safe room. Unfortunately, the killer uses Tom's cell phone to lure Anna back to the office building, in an attempt to draw Tom out of the vault. As the killer goes to receive Anna, Tom decides to give him what he wants, because he has no other choice but to save her. When Anna arrives at the office, he immediately takes her hostage, and also breaks her cell phone. He takes her to the lobby, 
where he finally confronts Tom and Emmerich. The killer intends to gain access to the file room, while Tom is concerned about Anna's safety. Tom attempts to trade his access card for Anna's life, to which the killer agrees, and throws his gun away. However, as soon as he receives the card, he reneges on the deal, wounding Emmerich as he shoots at them. The killer enters the file room with Emmerich, where it is revealed that Emmerich is also involved in the whole matter, and is helping the killer in his job. Now with access to the records, the killer activates the explosives, but Tom manages to lock him in the room. As the killer tries to leave the room, he realizes that Tom tricked him into accepting a fake access card. The chemical explosive goes off, and the killer chokes and falls unconscious. Despite the danger, Tom enters the room to extinguish the fire, only to discover that the killer has recovered. The killer attacks Tom and beats him, but Emmerich recovers the killer's gun and shoots him. Before he dies, the killer whispers a code to Tom. Curious about the killer's last words, Tom investigates further, and discovers that Emmerich likely targeted Roger for assassination because of his own whistleblowing, about how the law firm was intending to throw the Denning case. He informs Emmerich about the situation, but Emmerich diverts his attention, and asks him to call an ambulance. Tom uses the killer's cell phone to call an ambulance, but the phone is locked. He remembers the code from the killer's last words, and uses that code to unlock it. As Tom redials the recent call log, Emmerich's cell phone rings, which reveals that the killer was Emmerich's accomplice in burning the files. Tom finally learns about the truth, and blames Emmerich for everything, even for Roger's murder. Emmerich reveals that it was all just a settlement to destroy all records on the Denning case. He begs Tom to destroy the evidences, as Emmerich believes the pharmaceutical company to be more powerful and ruthless than any crime family. Tom refuses to do so, and leaves the room with that file. Feeling trapped in the situation, Emmerich commits suicide in his room. The cops arrive at the office after the incident, as Tom and Anna leave the building. One of the cops enters the file room, who is revealed to be the killer's accomplice, the guy who met Tom earlier in the elevator with the briefcase. As Anna and Tom leave the building, Tom realizes that his cell phone is still in the killer's pocket. The cop in the file room discovers Tom's cell phone in the killer's pocket, and alerts a hitman outside the building, who confirms that he has a visual on the target, leaving with the girl. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.